Hey guys, uh, I am here to share this little uh, book that I just finished. I needed to finish it today because I am going to see my massage therapist tomorrow. This book is for her because she, uh, not only is she a wonderful massage therapist, she's helped me out so much, uh, but she has recently enrolled in physical therapy school so I'm super excited for her I'm really proud of her and I just wanted to make her a quick little something to um, uh, help her out in that area so this is what I came up with this is a recycled book cover and the book was called the skull and the nightingale which was awesome and so I just kind of painted over it and I googied up some muslin and put that on top. This is one of those Tim Holtz um, bases, I think they call them, just Tim Holtz bases. Uh, and it was one of those, it's thick chipboard. It looked like a report card, which was kind of cool, but not quite what I was going for. So I splashed some paint on it and then put some different, um, oh, what do they call it, like waxes on there. And then that same muslin, I stamped anatomy and physiology on there. And I do need to find the name of the digital kit that I used because it's pretty awesome. But anyway... <clears throat> um, the, I got it the book and the uh, I'm trying to do two things at once here and it's not working very well sorry uh, <laughs> I had one of those tiny three ring notebooks that are you know about this size these things are really hard to get out of there. I had to have G help me. He kind of uh, uh, drilled it out for me because I wanted to use that rather than glue the pages in so that she could take them out and move them around if she wanted to or she needed to. So this does, of course, open. And uh, these digitals are from a cabinet of curiosities on Etsy. I will link that. Really cool looking. And uh, I didn't spend very much on these either. I got this and some tags and some other things. Uh, really cool little kit. So that's worth your uh, time checking out. Uh, so it was kind of hard to put this in and cover everything up all at the same time and reinforce the spine but I think I did it by using some Tyvek and some really old really thick uh, wide seam binding and of course Fabri-Tac so that's what that is this is this uh, tissue paper that I Mod Podged on here and if this is nothing spectacular I use the kit pages uh, this is the size of the paper that was in the notebook when I got it and so I just coffee dyed a bunch of these and I've still got like tons more but this really is like a little notebook for her to use I did make a couple of little special things here there's a little skull. This is some more of that muslin and I sewed that onto a back of a dictionary page that has uh, physical, physical, physiologist, you know, everything that kind of goes along with what she is studying. And then I also found some spiffy images on Pinterest. Um, I'm not selling this so I don't know where exactly where these are from but I'm not selling it so. And this is uh, probably from um, like a recollection set or something. 
And here's some more of those cool pages. And I thought these were kind of neat because you can doodle in there if you need to. That was my thought anyway. So I'm just going to skip through really quick here. I did put a few little pockets here and there. Here's another dictionary page, and this one has the word anatomy on it. And this is another one of those recollection, where am I? There I am. Uh, recollection sheets that I got uh, for Halloween probably two years ago. So I just kind of tried to make it kind of anatomy based. And these are some of the cards that I got from A Cabinet of Curiosity. Pretty cool looking. And this is just a little piece of ephemera that I had uh, stamped on a couple of old envelopes and made that page. And this only took me like two days to put together, of course. It's nothing fancy. There's another one of those cool tags. Um, I kind of like it because these pages kind of clash with these, and I just think that it looks so cool. These were also, uh, I printed them out and then coffee dyed them. And I love how it gets, I don't know, there's some sort of chemical reaction or something. It's pretty cool. And there's another one. I also used all the little scraps for, excuse my finger, I was, you know, waxing stuff. <laughs> I also used the scraps to uh, embellish. And this is pretty cool. This is one of the double spreads uh, in that kit. And I thought that was very cool with all the Da Vinci stuff. So I just left that like that. And I wanted to make it so that she can use this so everything comes out and is removable for writing purposes. And there's another dictionary page here. This one has the word body all up here. And it also has uh, body snatcher, which <laughs> that's kind of cool. But these are some more of those cool tags. The little anatomy tags really neat I just printed those out on cardstock as you can see and um, yeah that's it I just put a lot of this really cool note paper in here until it filled up pretty good that's another one of those pages from a cabinet of curiosities so really quick I just wanted to share that really quick because like I say I'm gonna go see her tomorrow I want to give this to her uh, and I hope she likes it. I hope she can use it. I like it. So, <laughs> okay, so that was it. I just wanted to come on really quick and show you this really cool, cool, uh, notebook that I have here. So, uh, Cabinet of Curiosities on Etsy. I will link it. Everybody else, have a great weekend, and I will see you later. Bye!